Hi, I'm Kevin McDonald, Industrial Control Sensors and Safety Product Manager with McNaughton McKay. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure the CR30 Configurable Safety Relay. To configure the CR30, we must open Connected Component Workbench. Select New. Rename your project. And click on Create. Now we go to the Safety tab, open the CR30 Safety Relays, and click on the CR30. From here, you can select multiple versions of older. We'll stick with number 10. Hit Select, Add to Project. Right click on the icon, and now we can rename the CR30. Double click the icon, and that takes us into our hardware configuration. We'll highlight over slot one, right click, and we'll add a communication module, the ethernet module. This will disable the serial communication. Now we're able to configure our IP address. Now we'll right click over slot two and let's add a four in, four output module. Now we have the ability to configure the LEDs. Here we can uh, configure terminals or input status. We'll select input status. And we can configure the output status. Here we also have a false log. Faults will appear on top as the last fault on top. Now we'll click on the logic editor. The first row consists of inputs. The next two are logic levels and the last row is outputs. Here's our toolbar with our input selection, our logic selection, and our output selection. We can click on an e-stop and drag it over to the position from here, we can select the address. We have all our safety inputs and our multi-purpose terminals. Notice that we have the pulse width uh, coming off of terminals 12 and 13. These will go through the e-stops and to the terminals. We can disable this, but we'll keep it on. If the green box is highlighted where you want the device, you can double click double click light curtains and then we're going to add a light array which doesn't have an icon so we'll pick alternative uh, uh, alternative device from here now we have the options again of the inputs and the multi-purpose terminals we'll pick the multi-purpose terminals we'll go to advanced settings and this will be a solid state input so we'll select two OS OSSD inputs now we'll add a reset button. And here, notice that we have not just the inputs and multi-terminal, but we also have the inputs of the uh, plug-in module. Plus we have 16 communication bits to which the PLC can write to uh, such that we can put the reset on the touchscreen. Let's just use the plug-in module. Now we can add our logic. Let's add an AND gate. Let's um, open up three inputs. Now we're simply going to connect the dots. Next, let's go ahead and put our output. Let's put an immediate off. Connect it. We can add feedback and this, and we can add auto or manual reset. Let's go ahead and put manual. And now we can select the reset button 
um, which is safety monitoring function four. Notice that that is located right there. Now our system is complete. We'll go back to the uh, hardware configuration tab. Let's do a quick build. This will compile the program and let us know if we have any errors. Now we can download, select download. We'll use the USB port as it, uh, we have not yet configured the address on the ethernet. Even though we said USB, you really have to select it under the virtual chassis. Select the icon for the CR30 and click OK. Click Yes. That will take it out of program mode. It's now been downloaded successful. Click Yes to put it in run mode. Now we can see our logic live. Notice that the output is blinking. That means we have to do a reset. I can now click on the reset button and now our output is on. For additional questions or more videos like this, give us a call or visit our website.